Holly Randall here at the Suze Randall book launch party for her 1977 memoir, Suze, which was written by my late father, has been out of print for decades. And we're here to celebrate not only my mother, but also my father tonight. We have a bunch of big A-list adult celebs coming and it's gonna be one hell of a night. Okay, I am here with the producer of this incredible project, Alan Amato. Couldn't do this without him. Alan, thank you for putting this together. Amato. But, uh, okay, well, we're going to do this all over again, okay? Uh, Amato. 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 Now I'm scared to say your name. I'm just going to say Alan. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm going to lose it. I am here with the publisher, Alan Amato. How did this whole thing come to fruition? We're here because we talked about doing an art book for you, which is going to be following up on the heels of this. Um, and then I think during our meeting, you foolishly mentioned that your mom had a paperback book that had been out of print and that you wanted to get it back into print came up that she doesn't actually have a photography book. I was uh, outraged for all humanity and realized that that was something that we needed to do for her. So she does have one photography book that was done ages ago, but it's like a fetish book. It's definitely doesn't like span her career in the way that this limited yeah. edition version will. The hope is going to be that this spans like the full 40 plus year career. So we launched the Kickstarter today at noon. How are we doing in terms of meeting our goal? The last time I checked was two hours ago and we were at 20 grand. So we were halfway there in about seven hours, which is great. What do you know about Suze Randall? She's taken a lot of pictures of some of the most beautiful people <laughs> that you could possibly, but I just heard stories about how she admires them and like things that she says to people when she's taking pictures. She said things back in the day that I'm not sure that you can say these days. You know, give me a little pinky, ponky, poodle donkey. Give me a <laughs> She was definitely a pioneer. I'm glad I heard some of them. <laughs> All right, we are here with the incredible, strong, strong, that's a terrible way to introduce you. I mean, sorry, it's not. <laughs> strong performer, but then I don't know, it felt like maybe there's more to you than you're just your penis. No, that's it. That's all it is. That's why I get invited to these places. It ain't my personality. Well, I am here with Scott Nails' penis and also Scott Nails. Sadly, you can't see it because we're on YouTube, but we're so excited to have him here. Your mom already asked me to pull it out. Did she say that that's the only way she's going to recognize you? Yes. Yeah, you know, my mom's been uh, making that joke for a long time, and it never seems to get old for her. So tell me what it was like working with Suze. I always enjoyed it. I remember the first time I worked with her, you kind of flinched because she liked to yell. Yeah, that's uh, she's definitely unpredictable in that way. But I liked it. She told you exactly what she wanted, so it was like no bolt, you know what I mean? Like, I knew we were just getting the shit done. A lot of fun, though. Always. Always. Well, we really appreciate you being here, Scott. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the invite. I like also that you chose the outfit that I suggested. My age, you do what your kids tell you. This is true. Hold on. All right, are we ready? The woman beside me needs no introduction. She is the entire reason that we are here tonight. She is also my mother, the one and only Suze Randall. Hey. Wow, okay. So, Mom, how are you feeling about tonight? I'm feeling better. I'm having a beer and I got makeup on and I got clean clothes. I had a shower. It's bloody amazing. I've interviewed a couple of people so far and the one thing that everybody seems to remember about you is the things that you say when you're shooting them. Do you remember any of these phrases, these legendary things that you used to tell to girls? No, but it's just I've got a loud dirty mouth and it helps when you're talking to the models and you make them laugh and they stop taking themselves so seriously and they get relaxed, you know? There's this filthy old woman who doesn't know what the hell she's doing instead of an important man who's like this, oh, my lighting is so good. <laughs> so you don't remember the good old pinkle, ponkles, poodle donkey? Give me a no. We're re-releasing your 1977 memoir that Dad wrote. How are you feeling about that? Well, I'm just rereading it and trying to remember everything. It was 
<laughs> he was a brilliant man. It's all his fault. He made me do it, and I tried very hard. I wasn't very good. But I did try hard. You guys would go to orgy parties together and you you would call yourself like the goddess of love and you were very generous with your love and you would go and have sex with the kind of like sad, lonely, ugly men in the corner who weren't getting any because that's the kind of generous spirit that you are. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I can't get them now unless they're homeless. I mean, when was the last time you tried? <laughs> when they were, I was working with the homeless. Oh, okay. Well, these may be details I don't need to hear about. All right, Mom, well, I love you so much, and we are here to celebrate you tonight. We have here one of our favorite models, now turned makeup artist, uh, the beautiful Sandy. Tell me, like, some of your memories about shooting with my mom. I loved her. She was so funny, and she was always very creative. I remember that I always had the best makeup, the best hair. You guys always made me feel so special. If I want to show something for my children, that I was a model, I'm going to show Susie's pictures to my kids, because I'm so proud of those. There was so much effort in it. You know, you don't see that today anymore. It was so fun to work with her. She brought the best out of you. I think the best word for Suze is that she's a fucking legend. I have here the legendary porn agent, the man, the myth, Mark Spiegler. You've been in the industry a long time. You worked with my mom a lot back in the day. Do you have any like great Sue stories? Everybody loved to work for her because she was very uh, pro-woman and very supportive, very encouraging. And she got them to do whatever she wanted them to do, whether they liked it or not. In the end, they liked it, yeah. In the end, it, they liked it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark, for coming. I am so excited to have here the one and only Veronica Hart. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's me. That's you. <laughs> So Veronica, tell me a little bit about maybe the first time you met my mom. Suze is the one who told me that I could have a family and still be in the adult business. So if you had three words to describe Suze Randall, what would they be? Outrageous, wonderful, loving. I love your mama so much and I love your daddy, Humphrey, too. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, we definitely feel him here tonight. All right, I have here one of my closest friends and one of the Funniest man in the business. He's an okay director too, I guess. Oh, not really. The one and only Mike Quasar. Uh, hey, what's going on? How are you? What would three adjectives be that you would use to describe Suze Randall? Adjective describes a noun, right? Because I didn't really go to high school. Uh, adjectives. I would say uh, in, uh, in in British parlance, saucy, spicy, independent spirit. I love that. Do you want to give me your best Suze impression? Right, here's the thing. Uh, your vagina looks like a dry potato chip. Let's get some lube on that or something. I can't look at it. It's disgusting. Wow. That sounds absolutely nothing like my mother, but... Thank you. All right, now I have Julia and You obviously worked with Suze a bunch. Can you tell me just a little bit about that experience? No, we always had a really good time. She was very detail-oriented. She didn't want your vagina to look like a dried-up dried potato chip. Dried up potato chip. She would be like, Emma, get me the baby oil and some Q-tips. See, that's how we did it back yes. then, guys. And then she would go in there and she would, she would paint <laughs> your labias. It's like Bob Ross, happy little labia. <laughs> And um, of course, I lost my train of thought. Lost in your labia I'm description. Sorry. So back when you were shooting with Suze, were there any other female photographers or directors that you worked with, remember working with at the time, or was she the only one? She was the only one. The only one, my friends. She was, you know, a trailblazer. I am so incredibly honored to have the incredible artist Olivia here today. If you don't know the name, if you see her work, you would instantly recognize it. Her work was all over Playboy. I met your mother in 1977 at Larry Flint's house, and your mom was so talented. All the magazines, whenever I saw her shoots, she had such a style to her. She was really highly erotic more than anybody else's. I am so excited to have not only one of my favorite models, but literally one of my favorite people. I believe my mother did her first ever photo shoot. She needs no introduction, Nicole Aniston. I'm so glad to be here. Was your first shoot actually with Suze? I did my first boy girl. I had never modeled, I had never danced, I had never anything. And I couldn't even fathom at the time who I was being instructed by. My brain couldn't wrap around who I was in the presence of, so I just was like, I'm just gonna do my best because she clearly knows what she's doing. Had I not had that day, my career would have been 100% different. Three adjectives that describe Suze Randall, what would they be? I don't know that there are three adjectives that are enough. 
Iconic is too easy. But we'll take it. Yeah, iconic, <laughs> iconic. Prolific, iconic trailblazer. We'll take those. We'll take all three of those. All right, that's a wrap. What an incredible night. I know my mom had a blast. I want to thank everybody for their support. And if you haven't signed up for the Kickstarter already, please go check it out. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity to own a piece of the adult industry's history. Thanks guys so much for watching.